it's Kasia and today I'm going to be telling y'all about this wig. It came from Julia Hair Company. It is a 24 inch body wave wig. It is a closure. Of course y'all know I'm going to leave everything about this wig in the description bar below. But I just want to come show y'all what I'm working with. Y'all, as y'all can see I'm in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all, so we're going to be starting off with bleaching the knots. I'm using the BW2 bleaching powder. I'm using a scoop and a half of it, and then I'm going to be adding in some 30 volume developer and some Adore hair color. It is indigo blue. I use indigo blue because usually... When you dye your or bleach your knots, they come out really like orange and brassy. So this is going to cut out some of the brassiness. It's not going to cut out all of it, but it's kind of the same as using like a blue, a quick blue bleaching powder or something like that. You'll see it end up turning out blue once, you know, you finish mixing it up. It's the same color as like the quick blue. So you just pretty much add the developer until you get like a icing or toothpaste kind of consistency and then you start with the um, applying the bleach mixture to the closure from the back and then smoothing it in to the top so you want to make sure you're completely coating the knots on the lace and so you want to kind of like push the mixture in i'm using a little disposable knife yeah I recommend using this over using a brush, but I use brushes too, so it really doesn't matter. But this does smooth out easier. Then I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to use a little towel, put some foil over it, and then put the wig on it so it can be sitting up. And then I'm going to fold the foil over it, and I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes. Don't want to take it slow, just want to let you know. Okay, so this is how it looks after the 30 minutes, and it's pretty brassy still, so I'm going to be making some blue shampoo. You can buy blue shampoo, but it's easier for me to do it this way because I can use what I already have. So I'm just using um, some purifying shampoo, and then I'm going to use that indigo blue hair color again, and I'm going to mix it in. And then I'm going to put that all over the lace and let that sit for another 30 minutes. And then I'm going to wash that out and do my plucking. I want to spend some time. Needed some time to grow. Just thought I'd let you know. Ready to spend some time. I want to spend some time. Ready to talk, baby. Can be your rock, baby. He's coming sit with me or take a walk with me. I need to speak to you. Just want to be with you. Just let me take you for a ride. Is there a chance that we could make another try? I think we're meant to be. Didn't want to say goodbye. If there's a chance, just tell me how. Because time is precious. Time is now. Don't want to take it slow. Just want to let you know. Okay, so when I do my plucking, I like for my knots to be wet. So I either use a spray bottle of water or mousse. In this instance, I am using mousse. I'm just going through and showing y'all how I pluck. I'm only going to be plucking one side of the closure just to show y'all. And then I'll pluck, you know, the other side off camera. But I'm just kind of going like two times in each spot. So I'm like and then I'm skipping over a spot. If y'all do want me to do like a fully in-depth bleaching and plucking tutorial, I can do that. Um, but for now, this is what we have. So, yeah. <laughs> also, I am going to be plucking a middle part as well. And that'll be after I finish plucking the front. Wish I could turn back time, go back and do things 
right Give you a wedding ring, give you my everything And be there by your side Share a life and have a child And as I mentioned before, I did do a long blunt cut. So um, right now I'm just cutting the hair straight across at the bottom. I didn't cut off too much because I still want it to be pretty long. Also, it's much better if you style your wig off um, on the mannequin head than styling it on your actual head. That way you can see the back. It just makes it way easier. And by the time you put it on, you're pretty much done with it. Okay, so after trying on the wig, making sure it fits, it looks good, I'm going to be wiping off my skin with some 99% alcohol, and then I'm going to be using some lace glue protectant and Erica J lace glue. I am doing three layers, but I'm only going to do one layer on camera, so y'all can see, I'm just going from like temple to temple, well, not all the way to my temple, but you'll see just enough um so that my closure because it's just a four by four closure so i didn't have to you know glue that much space but i did do three layers and then i'll come back to y'all after all three layers have dried okay so now that all three layers of the glue have dried i'm going to go ahead and put my wig right on top of where i put the glue at i'm trying to pretty much match up my part that's in my natural hair with the part on the wig um as you can see i was having a hard time a little bit because the mirror is far away from me and then i was trying to look in the viewfinder on the camera but it's kind of small so bear with me oh and also i did decide to keep all of my combs in my wig this time just because this hair is straight it's a closure and i didn't want my wig to be sliding or anything with my hair being straight and then it being a closure so it's not glued all the way in the front i just wanted to make sure i had some extra extra protection so yeah so now that i sat the glue down i'm going to be using a little bit of cream foundation i found this at the beauty supply store you can use whatever you like but i'm just going to put it right on top to blend in the lace with my skin a little better you can also use a lace tint um i just find it easier to use makeup because that's what i already have then i'm going to be cutting my lace into little sections it just makes it easier for when you cut the lace off and i'm going to be using some even spray combing my hair back and letting that sit for a little bit once i let it sit i let it sit for about 10 minutes once i let it sit and it dries i'm going to go ahead and cut that excess lace off and then after that i'll do my baby hair Okay, so when it comes to my baby hair, I'm going to be trying to make them symmetrical on both sides. If you notice, I, did, I didn't put the part of my wig right in the middle. I actually had more hair on one side of my closure than the other. So, we're making the best out of that. Hopefully, it's not noticeable. Um, 
So yeah, I'm pulling the the edges out, spraying my hair back to make sure that the hair that's down and my baby hair don't get all mixed in and jumbled up together. I'm using an eyebrow razor, the same one that I used to cut off the excess lace. I'm using that and I'm just going to kind of, your edges are one of those things where you kind of just play with it until you get it how you want. I am using mousse because I don't want a super strong hold because I am going to comb the edges out. I want it to look, you know, natural or whatever. So, I am using that same mousse, the Shine and Jam mousse that I used in the beginning. Um, I really like this mousse for braids, weaves, everything. Baby, I use this mousse, okay? It is kind of expensive, but it's definitely worth it. I like it. Um, it reminds me of, like, the Nairobi foam. So, if you like Nairobi, you will like this as well. Um, and I'm just going to kind of keep playing with them, swooping them, cutting them until I get them to look how I want them to look. And then keep in mind that they look stringy right now because they're wet. But once they dry and they get combed out, they're going to look completely different. Also, I did put a little bit more makeup on my lace um, off camera when I was doing my actual makeup. So if you notice in the next clip when I come in and put the makeup on my part, my hairline is going to be blending in way better. It's because I put makeup on my face. And when I was doing that, I did put a little bit more on the hairline. So, just for a heads up.